Hi, welcome back to HowToAV.TV. We're still here at ISC 2019 and we've found a little space on the Avixa stand and we're going to be talking audio and when you want to talk audio, who better than the mad sound guy himself, Chuck Espinosa. Welcome back to the channel, Chuck. When our viewers know that we're coming over to ISC, they always have a few questions for Chuck. First one then, we want to talk about 100 volt line and low impedance audio. Now we're really talking, I guess, about commercial audio with a 100 volt line and low impedance gets used a lot in residential. What's, what's right for the right application? Uh, that's a good question. For the right application, the right tool for the right application. So your constant volt line, it's gonna be used where we have to string audio over a long distance, but we don't need a lot of power. We just need a few watts to make some audio happen, say for a public address system in a building or a, a, a paging system and usually the loudspeakers are putting out not a lot of audio and it's in a very specific frequency range just the range of the voice we're not doing a lot of low-end sub woofer work or high-end tweeters like we would with a, a full range system and uh, we can string this audio for days you know if i have a hundred watt amplifier and i'm only using one watt on a loudspeaker i could theoretically put a hundred loudspeakers on that chain and that would be great for an entire building's uh, public address system or paging system. For a direct coupled or low impedance audio system, this is what's used more in residential because we want full frequency spectrum. We want those lows in the movies to really impact us. We want those highs to sound really crisp and clear. And also in the live events uh, genre, we use a lot of direct coupled loudspeakers for big sound. Tons and tons of wattage and tons of fly rigs. And of course we want the bass booming and thumping, the kick drum hitting you in the chest and, and nice full lows and, and crisp highs like a hi-hat. So uh, we use those tools for different things, different applications. 100 volt, constant voltage for that long audio that doesn't need a lot of uh, dynamic range, a lot of uh, uh, a big frequency spectrum and very low wattage. And that direct coupled for a large frequency spectrum, I want all the hertz and I want them big. So putting you on the spot without having a whiteboard and a calculator or anything else, there is a significant difference between calculating loudspeaker amplifier loads on 100 volt, 70 volt line and low impedance. In my mind, the 100 volt line is a lot easier. It's, it's pretty easy, just voltage squared divided by watts equals impedance. I gotta figure out what the total impedance is, check it at the line, make sure my amplifier can do that. Usually the manufacturers have worked this out already. So if they say we have a 150 uh, watt, uh, 100 volt amplifier, as long as I'm, you know, I'm not kicking a lot of wattage, if I'm doing 100 watts on that, they've figured it out, they've done the math and you can just put it on. When you have an eight ohm, uh, or a, a direct coupled amplifier, you have to do a little bit of math as well. You have to figure out uh, how many watts I'm going to get at that impedance. And with AC impedance, it's not always the same. Like when they say this is an eight ohm cabinet, it's eight ohms at a certain frequency. At different frequencies, it's gonna be way different. If I try to put highs into a subwoofer, I'm gonna get a lot of impedance on that frequency range but at the 60 hertz and 80 hertz uh, frequency range, it's gonna be very open, two to three ohms. So they might call it an eight ohm cabinet at a specific frequency, but it covers a wide spectrum. So you should always read your specs and do your tests. I test them all myself personally. Plenty more information on audio installation, low impedance, high impedance, 70 or 100 volt line available on howtoav.tv if you've got a specific question leave it in the comments section below we'll get right back to you and if we can't find the answer we'll phone you